Okay, it's game time. Shoot. Get down! Hasta luego. Feast on this! What up, it's Shankster94, and welcome to my DLC exclusive weapon review of Resident Evil Village. So as that statement and this video's title suggests, this weapon review will focus solely on additional features and weaponry exclusive to the Winter's Expansion DLC that was released recently for Village. I'll go into specifics in a second, but first I'll give those the opportunity to indulge in their scrubby impatience and provide a timestamp to begin the reviewing if you want to skip all this. Just saying, you might miss some details that you may end up commenting about later and I'll snootily ask you if you watch the introductions. Alrighty, so to start the review off, I will do a brief overview of all the weapons we've already seen in the original story, but in the newly added third person perspective. I will also go over a new feature called Special Customization, which is an unlockable reward from the Mercenary's additional orders for achieving 25 rewards. More emphasis to come when I get to the reviewing. I will then proceed to review any sort of weapon-like features of the Shadows of Rose content. I'll tell you here and now though, there's not really much to see there, as it really comes down to just Rose herself and her mold powers. And finally, I'll go over the upgradable weapons from the newly added characters in the Mercenaries Additional Orders. Alrighty, so that'll conclude the introductions. If you stuck around, I appreciate your patience, but wait no more. Enjoy the weapon review of Resident Evil Village Gold Edition. So to begin, we're going to look at all of the weapons we've seen already in the original weapon review, but in the new third-person perspective. As you can see here. See Ethan in full form. <laughs> of course, you know... Capcom's trope or whatever of not being able to see his face still exists when I try to rotate the camera as everyone knows You almost get a glimpse of it, but only his profile anyway So I'll show all the weapons aiming not aiming and if it applies while blocking That's all I'm gonna say about it. I'm just gonna go through all the weapons now I don't really have a reason to commentate unless the weapon has a special customization Which we won't see until we get into the firearms. So enjoy for a little bit <clears throat> I've noticed in this perspective, he could slash the knife in slightly different angles every time you do it. The Karambit Knife. The LZ Answer. Pipe bomb. Hi, that's a lot of destructive power. The mine. The hand grenade. Uh. 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 
the flash grenade. All right, Lobo. Marking the target. Roger that, boss. The target locator. All right, now that I've reached the firearms, I gotta emphasize the special customization reward. So here with the Lemmy, you can see on the bottom right where your upgrades normally would be, I have something called Healing Shot. So health recovers when successfully shooting an enemy. So this is the special customization for the Lemmy specifically. Now the thing about special customizations, it is something you can toggle on or off in the main menu of the game, just so you're aware. So here's the Lemmy with all of the parts and full upgrades. All right, let's see the Lemmy's healing ability in action. Yep, sure enough, it is slowly bringing the health back up. So this customization does make the Lemmy have a use case. But other than that, it's still a weak weapon in my opinion. So the m 1911s special customization is the powerful reload. Firepower greatly increases temporarily after reloading. Now let's check out the M1911 fully upgraded. All right, now let's see the M1911's powerful reload ability. So both of the weapon tests, regardless of upgrades, took seven shots in the original weapon review. So hopefully this actually ups it enough to where that isn't the case. Whoa, only one shot there. Okay, so it dramatically does it at least seven times the damage. It's like when you reload this thing, you can probably tackle some boss enemies with it. I gotta test that out. <laughs> I'm literally gonna test this thing on a Varkalak right now because I'm curious. Okay, so I lost count since he's crazy, like, quick and won't stand for getting shot at before attacking you again, but I don't know. It took a little over 10 shots from a freaking handgun to defeat a Varkalak. So, yeah, when you reload this thing, it becomes pretty lethal. That's pretty awesome. So far, after just two weapons, these special customizations are looking pretty neat. The V61 Customs special customization is improved firing. Rate of fire increases and firepower increases greatly. So you can see the increase of both of those statistics right there.
now let's check out the V61 fully upgraded. You will not recognize it. So let's see the improved firepower of the V61 fully upgraded. In the original weapon review, it took four to five shots to defeat a Moraika. Okay, that fourth shot didn't count, so it only took three shots right there. All three of them went down in just three shots. So there you go. So just a quick note, not all of the weapons have special customizations. It's primarily the ones that you find in the game, not ones that you unlock. The Samurai Edge, AW Model 01. The Dragoon. The WCX. Now to check out the WCX fully upgraded. So the M1897 special customization is point blank. Attack to enemies at point blank range are even more powerful. I like that. Now let's check out the M1897 fully upgraded. Not anything really noticeable here since the real only part is the hair trigger. Alright, let's see just how much the point blank special customization for the M1897 increases its firepower. In the original weapon review, the fully upgraded version took 14 shots to defeat a large lichen. So let's see how many it takes this time. Holy shit! One shot! If you do point blank range with the shotgun on a large lichen, these customizations are insane. Let's test this on a Varkalak. Duh, duh. 
I am in complete shock. A Varkalak just went down in one shot from the shotgun with that point blank thing. It has to be more than double. It has to be like quadruple at least the firepower or something. Unbelievable because even with the M1851 Wolfsbane, it took at least two shots if I recall correctly and the stake fully upgraded. This thing just beat both of those weapons. Just like that. Wow. It's too bad I don't have any game saves with any more powerful foes. Because they're really going to test the juice on this thing. <laughs> it's like you could probably defeat all of the lords relatively easily with this thing. Not even joking. But that's going to be it for the showing off of the point blank ability. The W870 tax special customization is widespread increases pellet spread and greatly increases attack power. As you can see with the statistical value in parentheses next to the firepower. Dang. Now let's check out the W870 tech fully upgraded. All right, let's see the increased firepower from the widespread special customization of the W870 TAC. The original weapon review, it took 11 shots from the fully upgraded version. So let's see how many it takes now. Only three shots from the W870 TAC when you have full upgrades and that special customization. So yeah, man. You really need to turn those on if you want to breeze through with almost any weapon. So far with these tests. Alrighty then. Now the SAG-12 special customization is improved firing. Firepower and rate of fire greatly increase. Now for the SAG-12 fully upgraded, wow, red dot sight, long barrel, drum magazine, all in one, pretty bulky looking weapon. Let's check out the firepower increase from the improved firing special customization for the SAG-12. In the original weapon review, it took 7 shots from the fully upgraded version to defeat a large lichen. Now let's see how many it takes. <laughs> Only 3 shots. See? So it does dramatically increase it. However, it doesn't seem to be any more powerful than the W870 when it comes to the special customizations. Both of them took only three shots. So I guess it depends on your other preferences which shotgun you would want to use. Although after seeing the special customization of the M1897, that would be my go-to honestly. Especially if it's going to be close ranged attacks because that thing will defeat almost anything that's not a boss in one shot. Alright, so yeah, this shotguns have some crazy special customizations, I'd say. So the F2 rifle's special customization, once you know it, is improved long range. Long range attacks are even more powerful. Nice, so it really utilizes the fact that it, this is a long range weapon.
Now let's inspect the F2 rifle fully upgraded. Let's try to achieve the improved long range special customization of the F2. So in the original weapon review, fully upgraded, this took 10 shots to defeat a large lichen. Now I'm going to try to gain some distance on this thing and see just how much. <laughs> I have a feeling it's probably going to be similar to the shotgun. It may end up taking only one shot if I'm far enough. Let's find out. I knew it. All right. So yeah, only took one shot. So I was definitely far enough away. That should just be enough to show you that these weapon customizations are crazy and are gonna make all of these weapons really overpowered. All right, that's enough of that. The hand cannon PZ. So the M1851 Wolfsbane special customization is effective against lichens, even more effective against lichens. It already had the flavor tax that increased its firepower against lichens, now it's even more. Now to check out the Wolf Spain fully upgraded. Alright, with the flavor text of the Wolf Spain being enhanced, I think we all know this is only going to take one shot against a Varkalak. In your face. <laughs> sure thing. Oh man, you know, I really should do my explosive headshot with this thing in third person mode and with the fact that the flavor text is even enhanced. It's just utter insane firepower. So let's do it. Why not? Alrighty, here we go. Headshot! <laughs> Alright. Now the stakes special customization is improved firepower. Firepower greatly increases. Now just look how much it increases right there. Unbelievable. Now to check out the stake fully upgraded. Noise. You could clearly see that high capacity mag. Just 
Just looking at the raw firepower of this thing with the improved firepower special customization, this will most likely take only one shot against the Varkalak now. Sure enough. <laughs> Okie dokie. So the GM-79 special customization is improved explosive rounds. Damage from explosive rounds greatly increases, as you can see with the explosive power right there. <laughs> So let's just see how much the explosive rounds are improved with the special customization of the GM-79. In the original review, it took seven direct hits. Let's see how many it takes now. Wow, it put it down to just two explosive rounds. So there you go. Nothing else to show with the special customizations. Other than that, they are crazy. The rocket pistol. 